Hello, my name is John. Uh, I go by JS Resellers on Instagram, and uh, I'm a I'm a reseller. Reselling is buying like a, an item. It doesn't it doesn't just have to be shoes. It can be anything. It can be a PS5 or shoe. And uh, this is when you buy something at a retail price and be able to flip it on the market for a higher range of price. First started out on a raffle. Um, and I won the Jordan 4 Fire Reds. They, uh, I officially bought them for retail at 180, and then a month later, I got to resell them for 300. That's when I realised that there was like uh, a big interest in this market. There's money to be made in reselling. That's because uh, the market itself is growing every day. Uh, there's more interest rates. There's in, like it just fluctuates every day. So um, there's definitely money to be made in reselling. Yeah, uh, I get around like 10 to 15 sales per week. I mainly use Instagram, but I also do use Depop for my uh, sales. I use Instagram because there's a, there's a subscriber thing that you can subscribe to, which allows your Instagram to boost and get into other people's um, home pages and advertise your posts. The most profit I've made on a shoe is my uh, Journal 2 Off-White, and uh, I bought them for like uh, 180-200. And um, the main reason that I made profit is because around two weeks after, the designer Virgil, he died. So which made like the the price of the shoe go up to like 1.2k. I'm Levi and I'm a sneakerhead. Well, I have some mutual friends that were always wearing like Jordans and collab shoes and I just saw the shoes and I thought they were pretty good. So copped a few pairs and here I am now. My first memory of sneakers was when I went out with a few of my friends and one of them was wearing an off-white Jordan 1. So I was like, it's a nice collab that and this is just what got me interested in shoes. The most sensitive shoe is probably the Nike Air Max. There was in Back to the Future, so there's two types of pairs. There's the ones that lace up by themselves and the ones you have to lace up yourself. So the ones that lace up by themselves are a more expensive pair and obviously the ones that you have to lace up yourself are less expensive but another reason that they're so expensive is that there isn't loads and loads of pairs there's only a limited amount of pairs which obviously makes the demand more higher and harder to get they're selling right now roughly about between 30 and 35k uh, I'm wearing my Jordan 1 mids just uh, they're my beaters really just a cardinal shoe, nothing like like you can be afraid of getting dirty and yeah the reason I bought them was because it's just a nice colourway and the suede at the back really makes the shoe pop. The shoe with the most serious props the Chicago ones. Uh, it's obviously one of the most famous colourways. Michael John was wearing these shoes in his prime so a lot of eyes were on him and this made the shoe known worldwide and mainly to all basketball fans. So Originally, he was going to partner with Adidas, but then he proceeded to collab with Nike and create this famous shoe. What is Deadstock? Uh, Deadstock is a shoe that's never came out of the box, never been worn, and um, you can get like a good price for reselling them. What is VNDS? So VNDS is basically like um, dead stock, but it's just been out of the box and tried on. But that's really much it. So it's literally never been worn, just been tried on. So OGO is um, basically, they've been worn, they've been you know used and stuff, but because they've got the box and the laces and the tags that everything else comes with it, they can be sold um, still at a high price. B is a shoe that's been worn loads. Uh, you can't really resell it due to the condition it's in. And even if you do resell it, you won't get as much. You may probably a lot lower than retail price. What have you got on foot today? On feet today, I've got the Jordan 1 Highs um, University Blues. They came out around a year ago, and uh, I've loved them since I ever bought them.